Oh, you can't beat that. It's a big trout, Dad. Oh, baby. Get up, Dad. Like ambush. Bait as it goes around, though. As the tide pushes the bait around. Oh! oh. <laughs> As that tide moves the bait around these points, yeah, it's a good ambush spot point. where, yeah, it's a good ambush point. Most flounder like to just chill right there. And so we're basically casting and working that, working that little marsh line right there. Also, a lot of, lot of water movement in and out of here. Oh, hooked up. There you go. Oh, you can't beat that. Nice trout. Quick release. Quick release. Nice speckled trout. Pretty awesome to get that on uh, live action like that. <laughs> nice birthday. spec though. Happy birthday. Man, that's what color is that? Root beer and chartreuse. Root beer chartreuse. And that's an outgoing, huh? That is the money right there, guys. Look at, are you kidding me? Again? He's on fire, y'all. This is four casts in a row. Trout, trout, trout. Couple small ones, but they're in here thick. Ooh, got that birthday look. Oh, I got one. Flounder all day, baby. Nothing, Nothing my freaking. Dangling, that's a stud flounder, baby. Oh, he's heavy. He's heavy. Don't pull him out. Oh, it's a good one. Ooh, in the net, son. Happy birthday, D. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we came here for right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we came here for. Ooh. Hold on, let me get Once closer. Start. You got to make it look bigger. Ooh, nice laddie. Nice fish. Ooh. Oh, it's a big trout, Dad. Big trout. Oh, get in the net, baby. Oh, it's a stuck trout. Oh, dude, he don't want to get in there. Oh, that's a stud, dude. He broke your rod. <laughs> that is a stud trout, though. He's smart. <laughs> all right guys so we're out here today fishing for my dad's birthday as you can see we've got slack tide no water movement at all so the fish have stopped biting right now is a really great time to do a rod and reel breakdown now for different species and different scenarios we throw different things right now we're targeting trout and flounder so i like to use something with high sensitivity this is a castaway invicta uh, rod absolutely amazing it's seven foot this is the light popping rod edition it's got tons of flex right up there towards the tip. And uh, like I said, that high sensitivity is everything. When you're working that bait real fast, uh, looking for trout or even slowing it down, you wanna be able to feel that little subtle thump, especially when those flounder are feeling lethargic. So I really, really enjoy throwing the Castaway Invicta light rod. I have it paired up with the Abu Garcia. This is the Revo EXD. It's got an 11 bearing system, makes for super smooth, super far casts. Uh, absolutely can't beat it for any and all inshore species, whether I'm trout, redfish, flounder, doesn't matter. It's also got this awesome casting option on the side here that can uh, can help a beginner. You know, you could set it on max max resistance. That way, you can start out whether you're fishing heavy wind and you're an, you're an advanced angler, or whether you're just first time picking up a bait caster and want to you know try to learn. You can set that thing on max, and that's going to put a lot of resistance on that spool when you're casting and it's a lot more forgiving uh, when you're fishing. So great all around setup. We're gonna wait another 30 minutes or so. Hopefully this tie gets picking back up, gets to picking back up, and we'll get on some big fish. Ow! This is how you catch a flounder with a four inch pearl mud minnow from gold. Pass it right up on that shoreline and get ready for the bite. Dad just laid down on the front of the boat. 
and he said, let me know when the flounder stop, start biting. First cast, back to it. Just changed my gulp out to a four inch white. Look, <laughs> he's laughing Better at set me. set the hook. Four inch white mud minnow from gulp. Now I'm about to whack it. Oh, oh baby, get up, dad. Ah! Jesus. Look He said, let me know when the flounder start biting. That ain't a flounder. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm going to vote for him. You're good. I'm going to vote for him. That's all right. Ooh. Oh, Holy gosh. Dang it. Didn't count. <laughs> Still. It counted. It was on the boat. Okay. I'll give it to you. That's two. coming back. God. Oh, God. Nice one. Get that lure out my way. You Chauncey. What is this? <laughs> that was I'm not getting sabotaged. I'm not getting that. Sorry. I didn't know it was over yet. What is this, dude? I'm getting so sabotaged. Watch out. Move out of camera way. Well, you are talented. Oh, unbelievable. You think you're still on You know what, Dad? Dad's getting upset because I'm two for two on three for three. Get that out of my way. Watch on. it. Think you're still on? Your dad oh. right, he's still on. <laughs> didn't work. Dang it. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, you missed him! Get in there! Get in there like swimwear, baby! Get in there like swimwear! Look at that! Look at Ow, you stepped on my tongue! <laughs> That's his tongue. Ah! This is some of that, baby. That's a keeper. Oh! I am up to Trey Flounder. Actually, two in the boat. Let's be, let's be happy. Let's be accurate, I guess, yeah. Flounder number two. I did switch this Berkeley. This is a four inch mud minnow. It is white. Pearl white is the color. Stuck him right there on that uh on that marsh line point. Mwah! Oh unbelievable, you jack. It is my birthday. Get the short grass here. Hooked up? Yeah. Louder? Yeah. Come stand up over here. I can get you on the old. We're going to limit out. <laughs> We're going to limit out. Turn on. I told you to turn on. You got to listen to that. <laughs> I told you. Let's see if you can catch that fish first. Can you give me a... I thought you were getting a net. <laughs> that's a stud, dude. That's a stud. Oh, that's a stud. Oh, didn't even have to edit. We're just gonna hit the fast forward button on that. That's a beast. Yeah, they're coming through. Stop, <laughs> put that camera up. Put that camera up and stop playing. I do it for the YouTube subscribers, Dad. They're coming. Oh snap. They're coming through, baby. Oh, I thought I had one too. That's hooked up. Good fish on the line. That tide started you got moving the net again. Or not? Yeah, I got the net. You touch? Hollywood. Look at that. Good fish. Nice flounder right in the net. Ooh. You know what? I was just about to talk crap and say, man, you're way too far off that ledge. Well, I was they come just, in the middle too. I was just yeah, about to say that. I catch them in the middle all the time. Look at that. It's not just on the grass. So basically, guys, I've been fishing this grass line right here. He's been casting a little bit off this ledge. And you guys can see that water as it's flowing through here. Man, it's stacking bait up into these major points here. And those flounders will hang out on the ledge. Nice little ambush point through here. Ooh! That's number four. Number four, baby. I love it. We just busted, what do we got? Four flounder. Got four flounder. We got one nice keeper trout. How many trout you think we caught up in there? 20 plus. <laughs> a bunch of schoolies tons of schoolie trout lots of action lots of fun and when you could find those inlets in the bay system where that water is moving through you should expect a lot of action especially when that tide turns on so we're going to go ahead and bounce we're going to head to the galveston ship channel and fish a couple of hot spots in there look for a couple more flounder we got six more flounder to go you ready yeah let's get it locations here we're sitting here inside the galveston ship channel picked a spot that's got a nice cove and uh water movement pushing up into the structure there there's a flounder 
There's a flounder. Don't stick around this time. Oh, get the net. Oh, flip him. Yeah! There he is. There he is. Nice keeper. Nothing huge, but definitely, definitely a keeper fish at the new spot here. Got him right in that little cove back there. Still sticking with the white four inch What's gold doing? mud minnow. It's killing it. There he is. Oh yeah. Hooked up. Ooh. Little tater chip. Look at him flip flopping. Ooh, they in here. Middle of the summer, it's like what, 98 degrees outside? Literally. And uh, man, who's to say that these guys go away during summertime? They are in here and they are in here thick. Just gotta know how to fish for them. Ooh. Slow retrievals, guys. We're basically taking this gold. I'm gonna let this fish go here, but we're basically casting it up against structure where that water's pushing into. We've got good current, good water clarity, lots of bait. So three things I preach on. And we're basically, let that guy go. We're basically taking this jig head and bouncing it along the bottom. Thump, thump, reel. And basically just skipping it across the bottom. Trying to hit that flounder on the head and wake him up. Ooh! Ready? Yep. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful day out on the water with dad. Happy for his birthday, birthday to me. his 22nd birthday. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Had an awesome time. Caught some sweet flounder, a big old trout. Guys, if you learned something, you had a blast watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh -oh. oh, snap. He's still fresh. He's still fresh. <laughs> hit the subscribe for more action. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's a monster, baby. Monster. Ooh.